Hello and welcome to Space Station Silicon Valley. This is a game I played a ton as a kid and ate Fritos barbecue twists while playing a certain level and well can I tell you that those were good memories so we're gonna go ahead and do the smashing start um, I'll just have clips of how I have to get through this and um, here's the mission brief ooh ah ooh, ooh ah Ow, my head, sheesh, what a landing. Evo, Evo, do as they say, we might get out of this mess alive. Oh, and if we're going to repair you, we'll need as many of those purple power cells as possible. So, we need to get some energy in a sheep. You may be wondering why a sheep? Well, you'll see in a second. Oh no, it's a asteroid. It's my favorite part. <laughs> this game is amazing at being funny. Especially as kids. So here we are, we're going to go to Silicon Valley, the area where the internet is. Or something with the internet. Look at the happy dog and sheep. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow, he just got confessed to and now he's got run over by uh, a spaceship. Can't say that every day. <laughs> and there we are, right there. Yep, that spider thing? That's us. Evo. Or Evo. So, as you remember, we ran over a dog. And now we're alive! So now, I will explain what happens in this game. I don't remember how to play it. So it, here's the energy we needed. And uh, there's some sheep. So basically, these are robot animals, as you may have seen in the intro. And you use the R button to transfer Evo to a de into a deactivated animal. And you d you don't have to get these... Uh, these power cells, they're like coins in Super Mario. Except they don't give you anything else but a higher score. As you can see, I got 1200 right there. So they're all optional, you don't have to get them. And um, you have your A attack and then your B attack. Sometimes they don't even do anything. So B for the sheep is just bang. And then you jump with the other one. 
and you complete these objectives and you get through the level. Simple as that, but the levels get harder and there's more animals and there's different attacks. They get very weird at some point. So we're going to go ahead and have a nice day. So we're going to get four sheep into the pen and find the mouse with wheels. This is going to be kind of odd, but it'll be great. And I'll show you why. And you don't always start out with the last animal you start you uh were with in the level. So the sheep that you need to get into the pen, they don't have to be alive. So you could just keep biting at them. Then this is what I did as a kid. You could jump on top of the dead dog. And you go ahead and do this. And then they'll give you more information on the dog. I'm not sure why they didn't do that earlier. And it, this tells you about the dog, the attacks, water resistance, mass, armor, strength, and such. And then you could just walk around with the dead sheep on your back. Oh, there's one right there, actually. And I could just jump over here and then put the dog in there. And tr nope, sheep's staying in there. So we got two sheep so far. I never brought them in there alive, to be honest. This is one of the few instances where um, it's been dead. I mean, alive. But majority of the time I kill the sheep and then I toss them in the pen. You know, like a normal farmer does when they gather up their things, their sheep. And if you move too fast, the sheep will uh, fall off, like so. Or not, well, it did fall off, but I made it back so right here it says that there's a sheep but it's gonna be over here and what the sheep can do is float for some reason by holding its breath so it can float and cross larger gaps and you could get to certain areas more easily than um, other animals can. Freaking sheep. Okay, there you go. So we got four sheep in the pen right now. Do, did we not? This is. How many. What? Oh, wait. Do they have to be dead? I don't think these ones count as in the pen. Oh, you have to reactivate it. I forgot about that. Okay, so the sheep are secured. And here is what else we can do. And also, you could get out of a, or the animal that you're in, but staying out of the animal will actually cause you to lose health. So you could just jump back in. You could walk around as much as you want. And there's another dog right there. And um, there's another little side quest in here you could do, actually, which I can't do quite yet. We have to get a different animal. And um, this platform right here, if you were wondering, you stand here and... Energy. It just drops. I don't know why. It's a mouse. Now it's us. Type racing mouse. Environment, you're up. Skill, A, speed boost, and B is tail attack. No, not tail whip. Well, look how angry it looks. So this mouse... It's got a tail attack, and we already finished the objective, but we're going to do something else. Something different. The tail attack is a pointed tail. Like, it turns into a needle. You can murder this dog. Where'd it go? Oh god, it's trying to eat me. I kind of got the doggy mad at me. And um, we're going to do this little quest right here. It's not really a quest. I mean, it is the quest, but yes, that's a dog with wheels and rockets. So, two laps around the pond. Last finish smells of cheese. I mean, mice normally drink cheese. I mean, eat cheese, right? The camera is very easy, very not nauseating, as you can tell. So please, if you're prone to motion sickness, then this may not be the thing to watch at the moment. And with that, we're done. Curses, Mouse Boy. Once again, you better me.
and then he barks. And then you go over here, and you get mouse trophy. Simple as that. Easy game, easy objective, pretty cool, I'd say. And so we finished those two levels. That dog's not mad at me anymore because we didn't kill him. He is, he forgave us basically. So that's two levels in. There are different zones. It's not just this happy green zone. There's going to be a snow area and then jungle and uh, some water levels too and a desert as well. So here we're at Honeymoon Lagoon. The electric fence is linked with a big machine. Play around with it and see what happens. Oh yeah, and bring me back something soft and fluffy to hug. Deactivate the big machine, deactivate the electric fence, and get something soft and fluffy. So this all is being asked by Roger, I believe. Not Roger. Um, Dan is his name. That one dude got smacked by the robot right here. Yeah, it's that guy. He's um asking us to do all these things in order for us to regain Evo's parts and everything. And holding Z can give you like first person mode. It doesn't help with what I just did. But basically, we want to come here and we see this machine. You want to turn it off. Everything. get this all these switches stepped on I don't th you have to get them within a certain amount of time otherwise they will not deactivate the fence but now it did so getting these power cells I'm gonna go ahead and get some of those um, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to this side right here and this TV right here you may be wondering what it does it basically gives you information about the animal you're using so it goes back and it tells you again. You can skip it if you want, if you did it accidentally. I wonder what happens if you do it Evo. Nothing. Great. Okay, let's let's stop dying. So basically, we gotta get something small and fluffy. And then we gotta do something else. So there should be a dead sheep in there. Yes, there should be. And this mouse is terrible with uh resistance to water because you know they don't like water so here's a small fluffy thing are you asking what that is wondering what that is that ain't an onion it's a spring it's a springy thingy it jumps and baths but this one it could attack and it also swims by rotating that thing and we could bow we want in here we can only bow one time per like whatever the cooldown is interesting game I like it a lot if you have kids or cousins that want to play like some silly funny game like this I would recommend this one so what else do we have to do murder sheep or something get the something soft and fluffy okay so I need something soft and fluffy apparently this isn't soft and fluffy oh it's a thing on a spring that's what it is so there's the Oh, there's no ram? I swear there was a ram in this. So basically, I want to try to like, destroy these things with my drill this spring. But it, it's not working so far. There you go. Soft and fluffy, there you go. You got the sheep. Well, we don't need the sheep. Actually, we do need the sheep, so let's get the sheep. So the teleport is active again. It's not going to show us right now where it is. I think at some points it shows if it's close by. Or maybe it just doesn't at some time. But now that we got something soft and fluffy, we could go over this way and get to the mission objective. Or the teleporter is what I meant. So I think if these are all activated right there, you could see it. Water doesn't hurt you if you fall down into it, but I'm pretty sure it would in real life. Don't try it. 
I'm pretty sure I saw Mythbusters thing and they got the thing destroyed. So down in here and we teleport out. So that is all I could show, all I will be showing of Space Station Silicon Valley. Also Dan plays around like that sometimes. And as you can see, after completing three levels, you unlock one level in the next area. So here we got Snow Joke. But if you want to see me do more of this, go ahead and let me know. I can most likely stream it. I will most likely stream it over on Twitch if you want to see me play more. Um, so have a nice day now. Do I have time days for you? Take care and have a nice day or night or whatever. I already said that. Anyways, bye.